our world. Take a wander through our garden. Miss a trick, there'll be no pardon. The Hatchard Garden project was inspired by Ashley Pages Alice, but also it was a chance for us to do our first youth performance project here at Tramway and use the existing environment as inspiration as well as the themes from the ballet. We started by contacting people that we have had uh, some maybe contact with before, so maybe through dance classes, local dance schools, but we were also really keen on involving boys and how we thought we'd get a better sort of access to boys is that Chris Grant of Glasgow Parker, he also works in tramway doing classes. So we went and visited some of Chris's sessions and realised that actually we could give a lot to their young people as well. I got interested in it because it was like two groups coming together that you wouldn't really think would kind of go. So I thought, sure, could be fun, give it a shot. So we've been teaching um, all of the practitioners involved in the projects in Parkour to inform their movement and make them maybe think a little bit differently about the stuff that they already do. Just doing a lot of classes and a lot of different types of movements really made them think about sort of their style and their posture and the way that they move. It was really tough work for them, physically challenging to work constantly for two weeks. But I think it was the right amount of time. It was that we kept their, I think their engagement, their confidence grew very quickly because it was so intensive and it allowed them to really bond very quickly as well in that short amount of time. We tried to start by letting a lot of the, a lot of the material come from the young people and watching how they move first um, and sort of keeping the narrative quite loose and working from the skill sets that they have and it's just been nice to look at how we can take different journeys um, through time and turn that into something physical. A lot of it, Alice is about growing up in a journey through time and we've turned that into a physical journey that sort of represents it. I think one of the things that we wanted as a creative team was to bring out uh, the young performers' sort of natural ability and what they can bring to the process. So just wanting to sort of give them the skills of parkour, of, of dance, of ballet, and see what they could do with it and how they could sort of work it together to fit in these themes. So we would use words from Alice, we'd use themes, emotions, uh, qualities, uh, all things that they could uh, take on board and, and apply to their own practice. Of course. The, the wonderful joy about that specific work is uh, it's very different from being in the studio. So you really need to respond and, uh, and appreciate the area that you're working in. There's a lot of sort of opportunity in the garden for quite conventional parkour techniques, but it's also been interesting to give it to everyone and see what they've done with it. Um, particularly once they've had a bit of training, they sort of get that parkour vision. It's nice to just bring them out and say go and just see what happens. There was a lot of opportunity for the young people to be involved with their creative ideas and we were really looking at what movement meant to the young people and to sort of play with movement in an open environment as well. And it really allowed the young people, I think, to be young. They got dirty, they played in water, they rolled around on grass and dressed up as characters at ballets and I think that enjoyment was really evident in the project as well.